before my diagnosis, I was working as a newspaper photographer for San Francisco Bay Area newspapers. And it was, it, it, new, being a newspaper photographer is a very physical and challenging job. It's very competitive and very stressful. And so when I was diagnosed, it was um, really my need to just get back to work. When I first had any symptoms at all, it was of dry mouth, and I didn't even know that was a word. I had no idea what dry mouth was. However, when I would work, I would have to talk a lot and, and convince people to do things for photos and, and just constantly, um, you know, be speaking all day long. And I would have, you know, like um, dryness stuck to my mouth, and I would need a tissue to wipe it away, or I would constantly be drinking water. My main symptoms that were, were debilitating to me was the joint pain and the fatigue. Um, the kind of fatigue that, that I have always experienced with this illness is kind of like having the flu. It, you just feel sick and tired and you want to lay down. Um, and it's not a sleepy tired. It's a my whole body feels like it was in a car accident kind of thing, but there's no one place to point to where, where the injury is. Um, so my other symptoms with the dry mouth, obviously there's dry eyes, um, and fortunately for me it hasn't been um, that bad. Um, I do use drops on a daily basis and, and multiple times a day. For me, the Sjogren's was affecting me in my small joints and my hands and my feet and my wrists, um, shoulders area, um, more so than so in some patients. I think with Sjogren's my, my biggest fear initially was the unknown and not understanding what was going to happen to me. Is it going to get worse? Is it is some other thing going to manifest? Um, honestly, the first year or two, it was every bumper bruise or every little pain. I thought, oh my gosh, you know, what is that? Is that part of Sjogren's? You found the finding thing. Let's go find this one over here. This kind of illness makes you slow down. It makes you choose wisely and it makes you want to um, conserve your energy for the very best things. And so I'm not just, you know, I don't live my life just willy-nilly and we're going to do whatever and pick up the pieces later. It's, it's a more controlled experience, um, but we choose the really good things and we make sure that our energies are focused on the really good events and, and that when we commit to, uh, you know, going to a, a birthday party or some other kind of social event that we commit to and we really are excited to be there because we've made a space in our lives to be there. But the the anger and the um, why me kind of thing is not that far into the surface even now. I mean it's it is a frustrating thing to be this young with this kind of an illness. Eventually I would say that you're going to find an equilibrium. You're going to find a place in which living with Sjogren's is just as easy as your life was before, if not better, because the medications and the doctors and the support you're going to have from your family now that you're diagnosed is going to make it possible for you to live better than when you were not diagnosed and living with Sjogren's and not, not realizing it. I would say a new patient really needs to find support and hook into their own personal network of friends and family for that kind of daily support, someone that they can talk to, someone that they can confide in, because newly di di being diagnosed newly with a chronic illness like this, it can be very isolating. It certainly was for me. And I would also tell a new patient to find a more uh, communal support and a um, a larger support on a larger scale. And that can come from something like the Sjogren's Syndrome Foundation, where they offer support groups locally and they offer um, national patient conferences on a larger scale across the country. Not everyone is comfortable looking for support outside their immediate circle of family and friends. But since Sjogren's is not a well-known or well-understood illness, it can be extremely helpful to connect with local or national support systems.